In this video, I want to talk to you about the major differences between a charity and other legal structures. What are the key differences between having a charity or setting up a charity and other legal structures? So let's get straight into it. The first key difference in a charity and other types of legal structures, and when I say other types of legal structures, we're talking in the social enterprise context. We're talking about organizations like a CIC structure. This is a community interest company or a limited by guarantee structure. And there are various types of uh, community interest companies. By the way, there's limited by guarantee community interest companies and there's limited by shares community interest companies. But one of the major differences between having those and having a charity is that it's only with a charity that you can get gift aid. Now, in the UK, gift aid is a claim that any charity can have from the donations that they've received. In other words, when they go to the HMRC, which is our tax inland revenue organization in the UK, they can claim back 25% on every pound that has been donated to them. You cannot get that gift aid if you are a limited by guarantee company. Neither can you get the gift aid if you are a community interest company. So one of the first key differences between a charity and other types of legal structures is that only charities can claim gift aid. All right. The second thing about a charity and other organizations is access to funding. Access to funding. And this is quite surprising for many people because they think that uh, charities and community research companies and legal uh, limited by guarantee companies are open to receive funding from anybody or from all funders, all trusts, all philanthropies. The truth is that there are certain funders that only fund charities. They will not fund limited by guarantees or CICs. In fact, they specify on their forms, on their guidelines, that if you're not a charity, or they will say that we only fund charities, <laughs> or if you're a charity of a particular size, but clearly you have more access to grant funding if you are a charity than if you have set up any other type of legal structure. Let me say that again, because that's very important for those who might want to know this. When you have a charity, you have access to more funds. In fact, most funding organizations will fund charities. However, not every funding organization will fund a limited by guarantee or a community interest company. Let's go on to the third difference. The third difference is in the way of cost of registration. Cost of registration. Well, a charity to set up in the UK will cost you anything from 400 to a thousand pounds to set up a charity. Well, that means if you use a third party to say that, obviously if you set it up yourself, it costs you nothing, <laughs> right? But hey, you got to know exactly what you're doing to be able to set up a charity by yourself. But if you go to a consultant to help you to set up your charity, it will cost you anything from 400 to a thousand pounds. Or if you go to an accountant to set it up, or when we set it up, we charge more or less on the high end of that fee. Now, but if you set up a limited by guarantee company or a community interest company, that can cost you anything from between 200 to 400 pounds. So there's a higher cost of registration because of the complexities of registering a charity with the charity commission. It could cost you as much as a thousand pounds. And sometimes I've even heard people pay a lot more than that. But that's about the average prices. The fourth difference between a charity and other types of legal structures is that in a charity, the governing bodies are called trustees, but in the 
limited by guarantee or community interest companies, they are registered as directors. And I put there transparency levels. The level of transparency for the salaries is higher in a charity than in a limited by guarantee company or a community interest company. If you're a trustee and you're getting paid, by the way, trustees can get paid. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Trustees in a charity can actually get paid. You have to declare those trustees that are earning more than a particular amount. In fact, if you're paying salaries of over £60,000, you have to declare that in to the charity commission that, oh, we have two or three people that are being paid over £60,000. In a limited by guarantee company or a community interest company, you don't need to declare that on your financial accounts in the way that charity commission requires it. So let me deal with a couple of myths about uh, uh, charities before we close. A lot of people believe that charities cannot trade. This is not true. <laughs> Charities can trade. Obviously, there are strict guidelines in how you use the money, of course, but you will notice that uh, charities like the British Heart Foundation, Mines, and Oxfam, guess what they have? They, have, they all have charity shops. <laughs> and charity shops are, in effect, they are just like any retailer because although they receive the goods for free, they sell them to members of the public and they make money and they're making profit. They're making the profit that they can plow back into the charity. So a charity can trade. If you have a charity, you can actually trade. You can be delivering uh, training and earning money. You can be painting people's houses and earning money. You can be fixing people's fences and earning money. Whatever it is, you as a charity can actually trade. The second myth is that if you're a trustee for a charity, you cannot be paid. That's also not true. <laughs> the reality is that when you're setting up a charity, if you are the founding member or trustee that wants to set up the charity, you have to declare to the charity commission in your registration process that informs the charity commission that you're going to be paid. That's all you need to do. But you as a trustee can now be paid, particularly if you set up a community interest company, and it's the same as setting up a registered charity, you can get paid. So there's nothing like uh, trustees don't get paid. That used to be the case, but that's not the case anymore. So you as a trustee can be paid. Trustees, I think we're going to have to deal with trustees on another video. But the key difference is, let me just remind you of what I've been talking about. The key difference is between a charity and other legal structures like community interest companies and limited by guarantee is that only charities get gift aid. Charities have access to larger grant funding opportunities. And setting up a charity can cost you in the region of a thousand pounds. Those who are the governing board of a charity are called trustees, and those who are governing in the limited by guarantee and the community interest companies are called directors. And the level of transparency required by the charity commission is a lot higher than those required if you have a company. If you want to get in touch, with us, you can reach me on my WhatsApp. Um, contact me here on 07 932 3942 If you're calling from outside of the UK, that would be plus 44 7932 Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm going to produce more videos about charities so that we can all get more familiar with what we're doing when it comes to running charities. I'll speak to you soon and you can be in touch with us. Thanks. Bye-bye.